My name is Jonathan Wiener from Maryland China Company. I'm here today to tell you about our digital ceramic decal systems that we sell and how they can help your business. Um, if you are looking to print decals, the usual solution is screen print. So the cost for screen printing um, decals is usually driven by the number of screens involved. So if you're just printing one color or two color, that's usually an economical solution because you're going to get good color density and you can print a small number of sheets. It's not terribly expensive. But once you want to move into full color, you might be looking at your designs might say need four up to say 12 or 13 screen separations in order to get the color that you want. And that might not be a very affordable solution if you're printing something that you only need a small number of decals for. So that's where our digital solution comes in because you can print ceramic decals one sheet at a time, um, which is great for personalized gifts or just giftware that you want to try different designs on. Um, if you're selling giftware or home goods or even dinnerware that you don't want to make in large quantities, this is a great solution for you. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about it. Um, so this is our Savin C3003 printer. Um, as you can see, it's a full color copier machine. Um, and what's nice about it is it's very robust and prints a large screen size. We can get um, sheets that are 12 and a half by 18 inches through here, uh, which gives you a lot of um, space for your decorating area and you can cover large products with the decals that you make. So we offer two configurations of the machine. Um, there is a solution where we offer a flux with, um, excuse me, a toner with no flux. And then we have a solution that has a toner with flux mixed in. And you might be asking yourself, well, what is flux? What's the difference? And that's what we're gonna explain today. When you're dealing with ceramics, you think of it as a clay body that then has a very thin glass layer or glaze on top of it. And when you print traditional ceramic decals, they're using a pigment that when fired at a high temperature of say 1400 or 1500 degrees, that pigment actually fuses with that glass glaze layer and is on there permanently. And that's why we fire so hot in a kiln. With this solution, you're, we're actually printing with toners that can fuse with that glaze layer, but you need flux, which is basically ground up glass, uh, which is either gonna provide a glaze on top of the image we've printed, or it's mixed with the toner and kind of mixed into that image we've printed. And that allows the permanence on the piece that we're firing and allows you to decorate something permanently. It can withstand outside, various temperatures. It's on there for good. Um, but when you're printing in this machine, you have a color copier that is limited in how much toner it can put down. So traditional decals, your color saturation and the thickness of the color is superior because they can screen print on just a ton of the ink or um, pigment used and you get a really thick, thick color. With a color copier, you're limited in that it can only put so much toner down in that pass through where the paper has got to go through the fuser and it's using the toner and developer to lay the toner down. Um, the limitation is how much toner it can put down. So that really dictates the color saturation and the thickness of the color involved. So if, um, so I'll describe the two things here. If you're using the toner that is mixed with flux, then the flux is in there. We print out your sheet um, and then you traditionally cover coat with a screen, which I'll show you here. So let's say we print this sheet of decals and this is done with our toner that's mixed with flux. And then you're gonna use a screen like this that's gonna cover your sheet and then you're gonna screen print on your cover coat. All right, so we sell the special mixture of cover coat that you need. But what's nice about this system is when you cut out your image, you know, in this case, we've got lettering. So you couldn't intricately cut right next to all these letters. Um, you're gonna see where you cut out your image and when you fire in your kiln, um, if you're using 
a different cover coat, if you're using this cover coat that you screen printed, the cover coat burns away and you're just left with your image. That's the screen printed option for cover coating, which is done with the toners mixed with flux. Okay, so that's solution number one. Let's talk about solution number two, which for this machine, the second configuration for uh, solution number two is there is no flux mixed with the toner. So what does that mean? So we print the same sheet of decals, but this time, because there's no space being taken up by the flux mixture, which is that ground up glass, we can get slightly better color density uh, with our image. So when it fires in the kiln, the colors are gonna be a little bit brighter, a little bit glossier, and you get a little bit larger color gamut because there's no flux taking up space that would usually be laid down as toner with the machine. Now, we've still got to get flux onto this so that we get a nice glazed uh, fired finish. So what we do in that case is we use a special sheet of lamination cover coat that has flux mixed in. So we're gonna put our cover coat on and then send this through a laminator. So our end result in both cases is we have a cover coated decal sheet, but the difference is when I now cut this decal out that has the flux mixed in the cover coat, you're gonna see a visible edge when it's fired of where I cut out these decals for application. So they're both applied the same way. Um, the traditional cover coat that we use with solution number one is a little bit more flexible when you're putting it on your pieces. If you're gonna do really complex curves and um, shapes that are very 3D in nature, then you might think about the um, toner that has the flux mixed in, which was solution one. If you're going on flat pieces that you can cut um, all the way to the edge with your decal, then you might go with solution two, which again is the no flux mixed with the toner. Um, a lot of people using that solution are doing the memorial headstone plaques. Um, this has been a traditionally very big use of this kind of digital printing system um, because you're gonna get a little bit more color gamut, which is important for skin tones, faces, things like that. Um, but in either case, uh, you're able to get great results, which is why we're so excited about these systems. Um, overall, you know, the system costs about 15 grand. Uh, it involves us replacing the toners with the special ceramic toners, the developers doing some configuration to the machine to get it ready and sending off a color profile with it so that um, the color profile is set for the machine and you're able to print from your Photoshop or Illustrator, programs like that in order to print your graphics out. Um, so we use this for all kinds of solutions. We also can print by the sheet if that's something that you'd like us to do. So if you would send us your graphics and then we charge about $25 a sheet for that printing. Um, so that's a pretty good overview of how this whole system works. If you'd like more information, visit our website, MarylandChina.com, or feel free to email us at info at MarylandChina.com. And again, my name is Jonathan Wiener from Maryland, China, and thanks for watching.